Ringman unit or RMU are the factory assembled compact medium voltage switchgear which is most commonly used in the power distribution. And RMUs are used worldwide to distribute the power safely and efficiently. In this video, I am going to share you some of the key technical parameters, key technical aspects about the RMU that you must know. Hello there and welcome to the video. My name is Gaurav J. On this channel, I simplify electrical engineering. So if you're interested in learning different topics about electrical engineering, make sure you subscribe with the bell notification icon turned on so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. In today's video, we are discussing about the key technical parameters of the Ringman unit. Now, before we go to the different technical parameters, let us have a quick look at the architecture, the structure of the Ringman unit. So on your screen, what you can see is a simple single line diagram arrangement of the uh, Ringman units. You can see the Ringman unit consists of the load brake switches, which is uh, this one on the left hand side, what you can see. So here in this particular arrangement, we have this one first uh, load brake switch. This is the second load brake switch. And also to the right hand side, we have a circuit breaker. So this is the typical uh, arrangement of the Ringman unit. Now there can be different types of uh, uh, arrangements. So there will be, let's say, uh, two LBS and two, one circuit breaker, or there can be one load brake switch and two circuit breakers. There are different permutations and combinations of this is also possible. And this one particular arrangement or the one particular switching device is what we can also refer it as the function. So we can say this is a, a circuit breaker function and these two are the load brake functions uh, or the LBS function. Now LBS is certainly different than that of the circuit breaker and the disconnector that we know. Now what is load brake switch? I have a dedicated video on that. I'll put link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video for better understanding on the load brake switches. So basically uh, the parameters of the Ringman unit, the technical parameters are nothing but the parameters of these switching devices because these switching devices are the core component of the Ringman unit. And by the way, I also talked about some of the key components, some of the core components of the Ringman unit in a dedicated video. I'll also give that uh, down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. So the technical parameter that we are going to discuss today are basically uh, the collection of the key technical parameters of uh, these switching components. Clear? So with that understanding, let us go and start uh, with the first parameter that we have that is rated voltage and rated current. Now you will generally find uh, the rated voltage of the RMU mentioned on the nameplate. So it can be like 12 kilo volts or 24 kilo volts or let's say 36 kilo volts. These are the rated voltage which for which the Ringman unit is designed. This is the voltage the Ringman unit can carry for continuously without any problem. So this is a very common parameter. You will find it on all the type of switch gears that we have, including medium, high and low voltage. So these are the general ratings of the uh, Ringman units. You will find it on the nameplate of that. The normal uh, system voltage is different than that of that. Normal can be, let's say, uh, 11 kilovolts is the normal voltage. 12 kilovolts is the rated voltage. So 11 kilovolt is the voltage that will remain in the system normally. But for rated, it is always designed on a little bit on the higher side and which is let's say 12 kilovolts. Clear? Similarly, we also have a rated current. Now this is the current for which the Ringman unit is designed. This is the current uh, which the RMU will carry continuously without any problem. This is also called as the continuous current rating. Now for load uh, Ringman unit, uh, you will find it, the rated current is divided into two different categories, one dedicated for the load brake switches and one for the circuit breaker. So two different ratings you will find mentioned on the nameplate. So LBS it will be shown maybe let's say 200 amps or 630 amps. Similarly circuit breaker will also have 200 amps and 630 amps. Generally, the rating of uh, the rated current rating for RMUs will be lesser than that of the 1000 uh, ampere. 
Now there is a possibility that uh, the load brake switches will have a different current rating and circuit breaker will have a different current rating. And that is the reason why uh, you will find uh, two dedicated ratings mentioned on the ring main unit. Clear? So that is the rated voltage and rated current. Now you will also find one of the common voltage ratings mentioned on the uh, nameplate of the RMU and that is the basic insulation level that will include uh, the rated uh, power frequency voltage and the rated lightning impulse. These are the voltage which proves uh, the insulating the dielectric strength of the product and that is also very commonly mentioned on the Ringman units. The next and the most very important rating is the short time withstand and breaking current. Now again these are the two different rating. Let us start with uh, the breaking current. Now this breaking current is the current the, that the circuit breaker of the Ringman unit is capable of breaking when the fault occurs. Now we know the basics uh, when the fault occurs short circuit uh, the current rating goes to a very high level it goes into the kilo ampere value and that braking capacities will be provided for the circuit breaker. So one uh, example is let's say 20 kilo ampere when it is mentioned like this it means that the circuit breaker is capable of breaking this current uh, without any problem and with that you will also find a time mentioned so it can be three seconds or it can be one second which means that uh, the circuit breaker is first is capable of carrying this current for a three second or for a one second and it is also capable of breaking that current successfully this is uh, the rating for which the circuit breaker is also tested and guaranteed clear that is very very important this is called as the uh, short time breaking current. The second is the uh, short time current withstand STC. Now this is withstand only. Of course this can also be applied to the circuit breaker because circuit breaker is naturally able to carry that current. But this is specifically mentioned for the non breaking devices like load brake switch or disconnector. These devices do not have the capabilities to break the huge fault current, right? So they can only withstand it for a particular amount of time. It could be for one second or for three seconds, but they will not be able to break that current. And hence, uh, this rating is assigned to the load brake switches and the disconnectors. Clear? You will find these two different ratings also mentioned on the uh, Ringman unit. Now I have a dedicated video in which I explain the difference between the load brake switches, the circuit breaker and the disconnector. You can go and check that out as well, a link for which I'll provide down in the description. So that is short time withstand and short time breaking current. Now moving on to the third parameter and the most important parameter when we talk about the medium voltage switchgear and that is the internal arc classification or IAC. This is very very crucial parameter when we talk about the uh, medium voltage switchgear because this is the worst situation the worst kind of fault that can occur in the medium voltage switchgear and definitely the ring main units are also assigned with this rating. So generally you will find something mentioned it as AFLR 20 kilo ampere for one second. Now it is important that we understand this. So the first character in the rating A or B indicates uh, the access to the device. So when it is A, it means it is restricted to the authorized persons only. And there is one more character which is B character and that defines it is accessible for the general public as well. Where public uh, can maybe roam around, uh, not roam around but uh, it will be in a public place and there uh, the general public will also be present. So that is B. And all these characters are basically defined by the IEC standard. Uh, if I have to be to be specific, and it is IEC 62271-200, right? So that is the first character A or B. There are two characters into that. The third is uh, the basically the front side of the cubicle, the lateral side of the cubicle, and the rear side of the cubicle. Uh, it indicates that the cubicle is tested for all these sides, the front side, the uh, rear side and the lateral sides. And the next rating that is 20k indicates the arc current, internal arc current, the switchgear is capable of uh, handling for one second. So it can have 0.5 second, one second, three second and like that. 
clear so that is internal arc classification or iac the rmu must have this rating on that now it can be let's say af is one rating aFL is one rating and aFLR is another rating so aFLR is basically tested for all the sides of the cubicle clear so that is internal arc rating very very important uh, when we talk about the medium voltage switch gear moving on to the fourth parameter and that is the number of functions now as I mentioned one function in the RMU or the one switching device is referred as one function so if let's say if only circuit breaker we are using then it can be referred as the single function RMU clear we can have a single function we can have two function wherein let's say one is load break switch another one is circuit breaker or both of them load break switch or both of them are uh, circuit breaker any permutation and combination is possible there can be three function also now this example what you can see is a three function one two and three there can be four function or there can be five function this is also referred as a uh, two way rmu or three way rmu uh, like that now this is depending on uh, the application the particular applications uh, there are up to five way or five functions rmu available in the market depending on uh, the application the requirement the load that we are serving uh, the number of functions the number of uh, variants are chosen accordingly you will find uh, maybe uh, in one place it's only three function another it's five function four function or even single function is possible again as i said that is depending on the application that we are using the ring unit for but up to five different combination is possible Moving on to another useful uh, parameter, another useful uh, feature of the ring main unit that is the extensibility option. So imagine I have, uh, as of now, I have installed a three function uh, RMU, but in future, uh, the demand is increasing, the load is increasing. So instead of using another RMU or another installation, what I can have is I can have an extensibility feature for the extensible uh, existing RMU and I can simply add on the additional functions to that or maybe I want to add a metering function where I want to measure the voltage and current that is flowing into the system, I can add that. And that feasibility, that uh, uh, you know, advantage is provided by this extensibility option. So you can see uh, one example here, this particular RMU is a three function. So this is one, two and three. And in future, if I want to extend the number of function uh, that I can do using this extensibility option, which is provided right here so this is the extensibility option now there are different types of extensibility options available this is what is called as a right extensibility that means you can have it the extension from the right hand side or there can be a left side uh, extensibility le okay or there can be dual extensibility where from both the side the options are given and you can connect it from the either side uh, here is the example so this is the right hand side extensibility example and this is the dual extensibility where the extensions are possible from this side also and from this side as well so that is dual extensibility uh, important option important feature of rmu if you think uh, the load the demand is going to increase in future and you need to have additional functions uh, this can be super helpful Moving on to the next parameter, which is the IEC standard that we use for the ring main unit. So for RMUs, the IEC 62271-200 is the parent uh, standard. And this is for the AC metal enclosed switch gear and control gear for rated voltages 1 kV and up to and including 52 kV. This is a general IEC standard for the ring main unit. But as I said, uh, there are there will be different functions into that there will be different switching devices there will be disconnector load brick switch circuit breaker and these component these core component of the rmu will have their own dedicated iec standard or any other standard so that must also be followed for that but generally uh, if you are looking at the nameplate of the ringman unit the, this standard will be mentioned on that 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडर्ड्स क्लियर सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस की और द कोर टेक्निकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स टेक्निकल पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द रिंग मैन यूनिट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्निंग मोर अबाउट रिंग मैन यूनिट्स आई हैव अ प्ले लिस्ट ऑन दैट अ वेरी पॉपुलर प्ले लिस्ट ऑन रिंग मैन यूनिट्स आई विल पुट अ लिंक फॉर दैट डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल एंड डेफिनेटली दिस गिव गिव इट अ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो दैट यू विल बी नोटिफाइड फॉर सच इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो विच आर अपकमिंग Thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning